I'm Skylar Tudor. I play lead guitar and backup vocals. I'm Sam McCool, and I play the drums. Chris McKinnis, vocals, guitar. Rob Malmberg, I play bass and do backup vocals. Uh, my favorite part of doing this is being able to get on stage and uh, just see people smiling and laughing and having a good time along with us. Uh, we put a lot of work into it and uh, you know, we have, like to have fun and like everybody to have fun with us. I've written most of everything. Uh, Rob wrote I Don't Really Miss You on this last album. Uh, he kind of had the idea for the, the lyrics and the, the riff and we just kind of went from there and expanded on it. Uh, the whole album some of them were older songs that I just wanted to use. Um, and we all just kind of put our own little flavor, some fills and whatnot on them. Um, but I just kind of like when I'm doing a song, I'll probably just think about um, what type of song do I want to do to start? Like uh, what I want the feel to be, like exciting, sad song or whatever, and then uh, pick a topic and start writing lyrics. Sometimes it's the riff first, sometimes it's the lyrics first. There's not like one set way that I do it myself. Does it, does it ever change from what you originally was going to do? Yeah, uh, depending on, I guess depending on what's going on in my life. It was easier to write songs back when things were tough. <laughs> uh, but everything's going pretty all right for me. So it's kind of tough to write songs about being sad and depressed. All of my groomsmen marched to the Imperial March at my wedding last week. It's true. True story. Which is great. <laughs> Lots of applause on that one. Um, uh, the movies. Do a lot of movies and gaming yeah. and stuff. I mean, yeah. uh, Just kind of started the gaming. He got. Yeah. Uh, he lives out in the country, so he finally got like internet speed and good enough to play online. Right. So yeah. cool. We've done that, which is cool. Yeah. Um, the movies, probably mostly. Do a lot Garcia. of movies. Movies, Mexican food. Yeah which we regret sometimes. We've all got pretty solid careers that we're in, so it's not like we can just take up and run off and tour the world for six months, you know, so that's kind of difficult, but we're really happy with the situation that we're in, you know, because we have a lot of friends that help us out doing music videos, you know, uh, putting out albums, so we still get to have the full experience of any band out there, but we get to stay home and do it. Yeah. I'm sure if the right offer came along, we might be able to something but I mean for the most part we're all we all have our professional careers that we go to work you know nine to five Monday through Friday and then the weekends we have this. Yeah. This kid's so he's in college. Yeah. So he could. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, he probably could but like he just got married. I don't think his wife would allow that. She said she definitely took a European tour. My wife my wife would allow <laughs> <it. laughs> she's coming <laughs> she's all the way up to do a European tour. A European well that would be cool to see the sites for sure but yeah, we might go over really well in Japan. We do go over well mm -hmm. in the Middle East. We have a very large following in India. Why are you fucking going there? <laughs> <laughs> we a very large following in India. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> For me, uh, a good chunk of it's Star Wars. Um, uh, I watch a ton of cartoons. Um, huge gamer, so I'm a fan of first-person shooters. Um, that, that's where a lot of my nerdiness comes in. I, you know, I was a, a GI Joe action figure kind of kid, and, uh, grew up just loving like fight movies and stuff like that. So a lot of kung fu action movies, American Ninja, American Ninja, American Ninja. sci-fi movies, um, and then mix that with my my metal influences and hard rock influences. And there's you guys got one aggressive motherfucker. Yeah, in disguise. In disguise. <laughs> Which, no, seriously. I think I said motherfucker the widest you could ever say it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, pasty even. <laughs> That's bad. Right. Uh, I have to agree with him, Star Wars. When I was a kid, I'd wear out VHS tapes just watching those movies over and over again. And VHS tapes when he was a kid. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> that old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Video games. I think I have the nerdiest tastes here. I like a lot of role playing games like Skyrim and that whole series, The Elder Scrolls. Huge fan. Love sci-fi movies, books, Ender's Game, Fahrenheit 451, all that stuff. I think I'm the most well-read one here. Probably. 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 Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I read the, the, t the uh, credits at the end of the movies. That's what I read. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like the first few lines and then my ADD kicks in and I'm like, I'm out. So, I think that's uh, it for me. Um, I also, Star Wars, uh, 
I watched a lot of the crazy movies when I was younger, like Conan, Barbarian, Beastmaster, those kind of crazy things, and American Ninja. Um, but uh, played Mario Brothers like crazy when I was a kid. That's probably my biggest nerd card piece is just Nintendo. Um, but uh, musically, I've, I've been all over the place. I mean, I had my Metallica phase when I was younger than this kid, probably. Um, but went from country to metal to then country. I did, yeah, I mean, Watermelon Crawl back when I was like wow. 14, I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, but then uh, someone, th then I heard the Black Album, I think, and I was like, damn, these guys are mean. Then listened to all their old stuff and was a huge Metallica fan. And then I grew up and someone introduced me to uh, MXPX. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, Life in General, then I, I was a punk fan from then on. Like, uh, that's my go-to music for sure. I like all kinds of stuff, but that was, that's what changed me. And less than Jake, ska stuff, um, all the way up the ranks. And I just lately, there hasn't been a whole lot of cool stuff out. But we played with uh, Chuck, no Captain Chunk uh, last year, and City Lights, and that was like a whole different genre of stuff that I'd never even heard before. Um, I think what do they call that? It's easy post, core. It's easy core and post hardcore. Yeah, and I was like, what the hell is this stuff? I've never heard that before. So I start checking it out, and that's kind of what I'm into now is that stuff. But it's heavier, so it kind of can meet in the middle there a little bit with writing. That's me. Well, they all said Star Wars. I'm into Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, being as fair complected as I am, whenever I was a kid, I always stayed inside during the summer. So I read a lot of comic books, uh, just did a lot of reading in general, uh, played video games. Um, uh, I did get into <laughs> RPG games for Atari, a while. <laughs> Atari. <laughs> but I used to play like a Vampire the Masquerade and stuff like that in D and D growing up. Um, I, I like a lot of sci-fi movies and stuff, especially a lot of post-apocalyptic into the world. Anything that's got to do with that, for sure. You know, and then musically, I've grown up very eclectic from anything from. My 1980s share that I love. <laughs> the 80s share, not the 2000, not the 90s, but the 80s share. To One Direction. You know, I've grown up. I, I listen to I listen to One Direction. I listen to anything. You know, pretty much as long as I like the beat to it and it sounds good. I got a very wide array of influences. So I mean, naming them off would just be exhausting. Yeah, that's all right. You got share. I'm a big Justin Timberlake fan. I'm not going to hate him on. I love JT. Can't hate JT. JT's compilation of nerdy themes, pretty sure, yeah. yeah. They're all going to be themes um, of shows we watched as kids or stuff we're still into now, uh, stuff that we just want to showcase that we love a lot. Like me and Skyler have our own lightsabers. Um, I've got the Money Falcon guitar that I made. So we're not we're not afraid. Not that it's not cool to be nerdy these days, but uh, yeah, you know, we definitely have the nerd card. There's no doubt. Um, Lots of different songs on it. Uh, I guess we didn't mention them before, but not on this. Uh, it's going to have like Star Wars, uh, Star Trek anthology, maybe some like different themes that we like. Put them especially of them. Um, and then Doctor Who, uh, Darkwing Duck, Nintendo, uh, Mario Brothers. Not I guess Nintendo, Mario Brothers, um, X Men, yeah, uh, and Kenny, Ninja Turtles. Uh, we've we've done it before. We put it out, but we're we've, we're making changes to it slightly. Um, just so it's new, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, and uh, it'll probably like seven or eight songs if we have like a Batman idea. That'd be cool. Like, we miss that. Yeah, yeah we're, having, we're having a Batman. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's, let's, prefer Batman let's make Batman. that happen. Um, but yeah, yeah. we're just kind of we're, we're throwing around ideas. If we have enough to put to do a full length album, then that's cool. That's fine. We just right now there's seven, eight with Batman. Maybe. Yeah. So we're not we're close. One more. Book. Uh, our main website, we have our own website, which is code22music.com. Um, and then really any kind of social media site you can think of, it's slash code22music. So youtube.com slash code22music, facebook.com, code22music. There's just a couple that are code22. Like, like Re two. Reverb Nation is just yeah. code22. Yeah. Yeah. But if you Google code22, you're going to get us, and you're going to get uh, device not found. <laughs> so, and that's fine, because yeah. we're, we're a computer. Dorks, yeah. This kid's in school for computer stuff. Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity. Um, so, yeah, that works fine. Yeah, people should use Bandcamp if they can because it's cheaper there, 
and then we get 100% of it, whatever you're, whatever you're paying for it. If you get it from iTunes or somebody, which people don't know this, but the bands or the labels only get like 60, 70% of that money, and then bands only get, well, it's split up, obviously. But yeah, if you buy it from our Bandcamp site, it goes directly to us, and it's cheaper also. So, um, and then we're, when we put Nerdzilla out, we're probably going to do like a buy one, get one thing. Like, can't really sell that one because it's going to be a ton of covers. <laughs> But uh, we're going to do it anyway, just because we don't really give a fuck. But um, we're going to do like a Buy the Say What album, and then you get this at Nerdzilla for free, kind of a thing. So it'll just be like an extra download when you buy the album. That's how we'll do it. Or like a donation, and you'll get it. Yeah. So, you know, five, uh, seven, I think we're selling for seven on Bandcamp, I think. Yeah. Say What? Yeah. So seven bucks. Come this summer, you can get Say What and then the Nerdzilla EP for seven bucks. So it's pretty good. If you want to support us, and if you don't, that's cool.